Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Iraqi Dinar. Subscribe for more updates on the latest Dinar news, and I hope you're all doing great today. Let's dive right into some exciting updates from the Intel groups and the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, ah this could be big for all of us following the dinar. First up, news from Intel Group MN, I was just told that there's a key meeting planned next week with the CBI's director, Alalek. The goal? Reviewing the progress of the committee's work on the Delete the Zeros project and mapping out the next phase. This means we're on track for some serious changes, and here's a big highlight, the CBI will reportedly stop supporting the currency auctions by the end of the year. This is major because those auctions have been a long-standing method for converting dinar to dollars. Now, the CBI is expanding partnerships with more foreign banks, adding new ones to the list beyond just US banks to support the international exchange of dinars for Iraq's imports. Think about it how why would these banks want to get involved if they didn't see potential in the dinar being worth something and globally traded? This is a powerful signal that there could be some big changes ahead for the currency exchange policies and for Iraq's role in international trade. Now, let's shift to an update from our trusted intel source, Militiaman. He confirmed what many of us have known since 2023 a that Iraq has been setting up new correspondent banking relationships. And in 2024, Iraq is diving into consultations for Article 4. This consultation is a significant step in their journey towards a modernized banking system and involves crucial tasks like debt management moving more services to the private sector, and even privatizing Iraq's state-owned banks. Big names like Ernst Young have been working on this since early this year. This kind of modernization is setting up Iraq for growth and stability, which benefits all in our holders. Finally, some insights from clear article and local sources on dollar distribution in Iraq, right now. The CBI has control over who can buy dollars through official channels, which means fewer people are forced to turn to the black market. However, we still see challenges. Fail al Maslawi of the State of Law Coalition mentioned that the US Federal Reserve is closely monitoring Iraq's dollar flow, which affects Iraq's liquidity. This restriction impacts everyday Iraqis as the cost of imported goods rises pushing up local prices. Sadly, some traders and speculators are taking advantage of the currency rate shifts to profit, which makes things tougher for regular citizens. Economic expert Kasim Ban explained that these rate discrepancies are tied to corruption, as some private banks are able to buy dollars directly from the CBI, while not everyone has that right. So. What's the big takeaway here? Iraq is taking steps to modernize its financial landscape, but there are still hurdles in maintaining dinar stability. There's corruption to tackle, private banks to regulate, and dollar liquidity to manage. But with the efforts from the CBI, international banking partnerships, and potential shifts in policy, we're seeing the foundations of a stronger and more globally connected dinar. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Leave a comment below with your thoughts. Say do you believe these new policies could lead to a breakthrough for the Iraqi dinar? Let's keep the discussion going.